Welcome to the episode of Pick and Pop, where we talk about the intriguing topics in sports and pop culture. It's your boy MJ, and today we got Jules in the house. Hey, hey. And we got Bree in the house. What's up, guys? Woo! Lego. Now, for those of you who don't know, the sexiest man alive is officially John Legend. Whoa. Deep breaths. Wait, are, 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 are you into John Legend? Is that, is that you? Is oh my that God, you? who's not into John Legend? <laughs> Ooh. Uh, I mean, his last name's Legend, so like, let's just start there. I don't know. I mean, I love, I, lo- I love John Legend. I love him to death, but I just, the word sexy, I don't know if that oh is the word I would use to <laughs> describe him. Yeah, I don't, the kids are there too. They're going to be sexy too. We just know it. Well, actually, speaking of the kids, uh, Chrissy want to get their opinion. Miles, are you so happy daddy is the sexiest man alive? Luna, are you so happy daddy's the sexiest man alive? She's like, yeah, right, leave me alone. I want to watch the movie, Mom. I want to watch the movie, movie, Mom. Oh, my God. She's probably like, what is sexy? I mean, because a lot of people in the comment section are like, yo, I like his music, but like, I wouldn't say he's sexy. Exactly. Oh, my God. No, everything about him. (laughs) I mean, but I just think it's an awkward question to ask your child. Like, hey, daddy's sexy, right? And she's like, what What does that even mean? Like, okay, what I want to know is like, what's the criteria for being sexiest man alive? Like, I think number one, you have to be famous. You have to be okay, successful. Check. So you're check. out, Matt. I'm, I'm at, the, at the moment, I'm definitely out. <laughs> Subscribe to Matthew, Matthew Jordan, Jordan Presents. Presents. So all last week, Tyler, the creator, was hyping up his surprise guest for his Camp Vlognaw Carnival. But when Drake hit the stage, everyone is expecting Frank Ocean, and they booed. Check it out. Like I said, I'm here for you tonight. If you want to keep going, no! I will keep going tonight. What's up? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just love that blood curdling. No, it's like they're in pain. They're like actually in pain. If you want to keep going, I will keep going tonight. Oh, oh, oh. He's gonna stay. It's been love. I love y'all. I go by the name of Drake. Thank you for having me. I, I love by I go by the name of Drake. Yeah, like I, he's new. I think everybody what? knows who you are, bro. <laughs> I think he like fixed his hearing piece too, like to check. Like, are they booing, cheering? Yeah. I don't know. I have to double check. <laughs> Oh, it's like the walk of shame. I feel like the way he handled it, though, like he's so smooth about it. I want to start a hashtag, like give Drake a break, because I feel like every year there's someone, like someone's putting him down, like someone's after Drake. Like, the way he handled that, like he, he handled it like a pro. We want Frank! We want Frank! Dude, is that it? No. Yeah. Was so. he like the closing act, too? Yeah. Yeah. That was it. Oh. After that, it went dark and it was like, Drive safely. What a bummer. Drake sent out a tweet saying, hey, I just signed like a 20-year residency with Camp Flog now, so you'll be seeing me until like you're like 40 or something. I mean, yeah, all right. He's making kind of a joke about yeah. it, kind yeah. of. That's yeah. his comeback, though. Yeah. It's like, yeah. oh. You have to. Oh, well, what else are you going to do? Actually, what, what you could do is when you get up on a stage and people start booing you, is uh, you could react like Snoop Dogg at the 1995 Source Awards. Wait, wait, wait. The East Coast don't love Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg? The East Coast ain't got no love for Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg and Death Row. Y'all don't love us. Y'all don't love us. We let it be known then. We, we know y'all East Coast. We know we at. <laughs> See, that's the Dre. Dre could be like, wait, wait can't find I got no love for D R A K E? <laughs> what? D-R-A-K-E. I know. <laughs> Look at Snoop. Like, I've never seen Snoop Dogg that pissed off no, before. No, because he usually has a blunt in his hand. <laughs> He's so like, chill now. this is out. the only time he didn't smoke. The only award ceremony. <laughs> this is what you get when Snoop's not high. This is before weed. <laughs> After the Drake situation, then we had some memes favorite. come out. <laughs> He's over here writing. He's like, yo, got booed for keeping it frank. That was good. Oh. Funny if they did a collab. <laughs> they should do, like, a song together. Frank and Drake. Oh, yes, You know yes. what I mean? Like, this is, like, prime marketing. And then we got, uh... This meme was Soldier Boy when he was in the Breakfast Club. <laughs> These niggas, yeah, Drake! <laughs> Drake! <laughs> These niggas, yeah, Drake! <laughs> Drake! <laughs> Because, you know, that was definitely the reaction. Like, yes. that was all boy. Speaking of Hollywood, all you tourists might want to watch out the next time you're walking down the boulevard. A homeless man dumped a bucket of stuff on your head. A bucket of his diarrhea. I didn't want it to be in my mouth, but it was running down my eyes. No, no, no. Yeah. I don't think... <laughs> I don't think I don't think anyone needed that description, but, but the guy interviewer was like, "Yo, we gotta get the details. 
how much diarrhea, what <laughs> what grade diarrhea was it, <laughs> viscosity uh. levels, liquidity <laughs> levels. We need to know the answers. Heidi Van Tassel was walking to her car near Hollywood's Walk of Fame when, according to police and court records, a transient dumped feces all over her. A bucket of his diarrhea, it was liquid, hot liquid. I was soaked and I couldn't see it was coming off of my eyelashes into my eyes. Oh, I got a couple questions. I'm afraid. Okay, so how did he warm it up? And two, does that mean right after he went, it was I just know. quick? It was yeah. like a 30 second. I, like, I sadly was thinking about that too. I was like, has it been baking in the sun all day? Oh, yeah, for sure. Like fr I think fresh out the oven? Oh, <laughs> no, no. I would Is die. Is this going to be like the new ice bucket challenge oh. for the homeless? Oh, oh no. Yo, oh, Brit no. Yo, oh, Brit no. Could you imagine? Don't put that idea out there. <laughs> Maybe it's like when a bird's on your head. It's like, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Like the, the Hollywood version of that. The Hollywood good luck. In another episode of Man vs. Wild, a routine cop search turned into a lizard gone wrong. You know what I mean? Don't fuck. <laughs> I am it's so a lizard. Sorry. It's just a lizard. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. That, like, angle, that wasn't what I thought was coming out down there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, wow. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> See, like, I have a dirty mind. Leave it to Brie. Leave it to <laughs> That's Brie. That's what I was. So You got to yell at her now. Next time, let her know, okay? I mean, I love how homie got the drink just posted on the web. <laughs> what is that? Some type of alcoholic beverage. That is whiskey. <laughs> I, I am so, so sorry. Oh, uh, yeah, I feel like he's drinking whiskey and playing with lizards. Sounds like an interesting <laughs> life. <laughs> Does See, she know him? That's like, what I'm saying. Like, do y'all know Terry? It happens every week. Terry. Right. It's a different animal every day. <laughs> right? Why would you do that? I'm just glad that nothing bad happened. Like, I'm glad that, like, a cop didn't have their finger on the trigger. And yeah. Then next, you know, she could have pulled out a gun. And then next, you sure. know, someone's dead. I'm just glad it wasn't his penis. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> How do you just keep a lizard in your pocket? <laughs> yeah, and also that lizard was like chill being in his pocket until now. He's like, I'm not going down with you. Now, we know a lot of you guys are going to be traveling and flying for the holidays, but I hope you don't run into this. <laughs> so a lady posted a picture of her sitting there in her seat with another person barefoot and their feet just right on top. You have to have some crazy flexible hamstrings. When I'm on an airplane, I feel bad even lowering my chair. So I have like a whole yes. formula. I wait till like the plane is about to take off and it's like in this position. Uh huh. So that way I'm you like can't even tell. Going back uh -huh. so you can't tell. So like this is, a, you know, like this is like blatantly like I don't care. You know, I've had some bad flights. One time I was on this airplane and it was Southwest and you know how it's like, and I forgot to check in early. Uh huh. And I walked to the back of the plane. And there was two obese men oh. in the last row. <laughs> and were, I like how you emphasize that. Obese. obese. I can't even, like, it wasn't fat. Like, it was obese. <laughs> and Were boy, you at a sit there? I had to sit in the middle. And I in was the middle of in them? In his fat fold for five hours. <laughs> and I'm always in the middle seat. Like, I was tossing and turning one time, and this guy was like, you look like you can't sleep. Oh, no. Do you, do you want some? And he pulled out like this whole thing of baked goods and it just reeked of weed. Like, oh. He like baked all these edibles. And what'd you say? I mean, I ate one. <laughs> <laughs> and then I woke up in Pittsburgh. There you go. <laughs> and now it's time for the viral victory of the week. The viral victory of the week goes to the human face fish. So apparently tourists in China discovered this fish that has the face of a human in southern China has been left stunned after spotting a fish that appears to have No, oh, I hate it. I hate it so much. Like, that's creepy. That freaks me out. Like, I don't play what? around with that. That is so... <laughs> It looks like a It looks, it looks like, a like skull. Frankenstein or something. Oh, it looks like Maleficent. Oh, my God. Ah! No, I don't play... Every... Like, China, I Yo, don't look, play look, look at him trying to suck. Like, it looks, like, it looks like an old grandpa trying to like get his dentures back in his mouth. <laughs> so like, like, I feel like I read a, a story every <laughs> week about how there's a weird creature found in China. <laughs> I remember reading this like a starfish that looked like a like a baby, an infant. <laughs> Wait, ew! Yes, what is that? Ew. Wait, is that real? That can't be real. Look at that thing. Wait. That is not what. 
body. Yes, I know. Look at its legs moving. Oh, no. And, and I got legit has a smile on his face. Like, there's nothing. He's like, this is my girlfriend. <laughs> He's so proud. Oh, my God. Thanks for watching another episode of Pick and Pop. Make sure to share, like, and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram. Until next time. Woo! Subscribe. I don't know. 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 I don't know